Settled into the caves of this harsh and unforgiving mountainous landscape is a creature unlike anything this world has ever known. Australopithecus, the Neanderthal. Scientists uncovered the fossilized bones of the Neanderthal in Neander Valley in present-day Germany in 1856, with the ability to create fire and make tools. The Neanderthal was able to make adhesives from the tar of barks of birch and craft weapons, and make clothes and sandals. And they could build cave hearths. They made use of medicinal plants. They hunted mainly hoofed animals. Winters were exceptionally rough for the Neanderthal, but he made due with the caves of the mountains. It is here where he will spend the majority of his time. All the slaughtering of animals will take place here, to help prevent any unwanted guest. The forest is full of predators. Although they were apex predators, they probably still had to rival with cave bears and lions on more than one occasion. The Neanderthal groups likely were made up of small clans. There is evidence of some widespread open-air settlements, but these were probably used for the slaughtering of meat, to help efforts of transporting dead carcasses for miles back to camp. However, some researchers have claimed evidence of some females coexisting outside her own tribe, to keep from inbreeding. Suited for cold environments, their short stocky bodies were perfect for the harsh weather. Surviving two ice ages and 500,000 years the Neanderthal were pretty resilient. The hardest obstacle was the transporting of the carcass. So they relied on sub-stationary slaughterhouses. Evidence of fossilized teeth of a Neanderthal child shows, the children were weaned at two and a half years old. And mortality rates were extreme. Some lucky if they made it to adolescence and a life expectancy of 40 years. As social beings, grooming and cleaning took place inside the protection and comforts of the cave. A time of intimacy and bonding. Neanderthals used the mouth as a kind of third hand, used as a tool to cut meat or process furs, for instance. Different dental grooves mean different work, though both sexes hunted food, women were responsible for making and maintaining clothing, while men focused on repairing stone tools. The life of a Neanderthal child was an extremely violent brutal one by today's standards. Until relatively recently the lives of Neanderthal children have been largely mysterious. But a revolution in archaeology over the past two or three decades has started to uncover intimate details about even the smallest of them. Studies show that Neanderthal mothers nursed their child through the coldest winters in human history. And they nursed them through sick spells and desperately took care of their children. By one recent estimate, one in four Neanderthals lived past the age of 40, a lifespan on par with early humans. Researchers have speculated that Neanderthal behavior would probably seem neophobic, dogmatic and xenophobic to modern humans, and of a degree of rationality. There is genetic evidence that supports interbreeding with Homo sapiens.